My name is Melody Mazzola and I'm a fashion designer. I'm a creative person and I enjoy creating my own things. Which definitely you can't do when you're employed. <laughs> so I started out here in January. January of this year, 2016. And I've been here till now and that is how the Miss World project <laughs> came about. A lady called Anne Muti, who's an artist here, a resident artist here, she sent a text message about some people looking for designers and stuff to do Miss World Kenya and I was like, yes, you know, my dream. But the crazy part was I got this message like the night before you were needed to get the, what do you call these things, the sketches handed in or sent in or emailed in for that matter. But I didn't deter, I was just like, I have a couple of sketches in my studio. I could come in the morning and send them over. And so that morning I came in and I called the guys and I asked them whether it was still okay for me to send because I had like five minutes to the deadline and they said it was okay. And I sent a number of sketches and from there I got phone calls and they were just like, we love what you do, we love exactly what it is, you don't need to redesign anything, just come in for a meeting. That is how this Miss World project began. A joy and a challenge and it has been everything all in one, I tell you. From the sketching to having to alter my sketches to make them more Kenyan or African based, to the sourcing for the materials like peacock feathers for that peacock dress that I love and they love so much. Yeah, sourcing had been one of the greatest challenges because I think I sourced I sourced for more than three days there were some colors I couldn't find there were some materials I could you know get in your foot back in there to searching for a whole bunch of things and organization and preparation for doing gowns which had given us a crazy deadline they were like in two weeks and we were just like I'm a one-man station I cut, I, I do the drafting, I cut, I stitch myself. If it's beadwork, I would have to get on it. I had an assistant shortly in between the time, but she left, so <coughs> she was supposed to be my intern. Yeah, things happen. But anyhow, um, I believe she found a better place that she is more, you know, she's more into than, than what I was up to, which is really good, I think. I think it's good to find yourself and know where you want to be, especially as a creative person, because you don't want to feel like you're in a cage. This Miss World Kenya project allowed me to explore, explore making gowns on a budget that wasn't my own, which is something I'm very grateful for, because sometimes you look at these gowns and you're like, okay, when am I going to get the money to actually experiment like this so that was really really good that's all thanks to Mimi the Mimi store was in conjunction with Ashley's the one that heads the Miss World Kenya in and I get to dress Miss World December 10th is when we get to see the gowns fully but we had a photo shoot like last week where I got to see my pieces on hand I was so excited <laughs> super excited I am I'm pleased I believe there is so much better that I can do and this has just shone the light on it and it's like you can do more melody and just keep it up, you know? The process, wow. All I can say is hard work pays. Hard work um, pays a lot but also I think you need to consider your time, you need to consider the planning process is also very important. I believe I could have done that better than I did it this time. But I'm very happy, very, very happy girl.